Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm going to today, and I'm going to be going over everything related to Hollow Tide. Everything you need to know, every method I will discuss. Just a full-on guide to Hollow Tide. So, for starters, you want to make your way to Vigil's Island. I mentioned this in my screen video, but you want to come to the area where you get the training items at Vigil's. It's going to be all the way to the right of uh, the Vigil's like little area where you can, you know, what I'm saying, go inside like the little cave and all that stuff, right? Then you want to talk to this pumpkin, right? It will have some dialogue if it's not spawned in, but if it is, you can just press E and head up there right <clears throat> so you're gonna realize that you're gonna be at the floating keep right and then uh up next you want to you want to go into this room right here onto the right it will be to the right of where you first spawn at the gate you want to come past this little jack-o-lantern and head over here and talk to this guy right here lysander right now basically he'll teach you about hollow titan or whatever right and basically what he will tell you to get is that um you need to find three separate things right and the three things that you need are right here the shell stock the paper and the finding now you can find these pretty much in any chest in the game ever it can be depths Arisia, song seeker you just need to go do some events find chests, and you'll be able to get them people can also drop them too so if your friend has one that you're missing and he has one that you need you guys can give it to each other and trade it right so once you turn in those items to him you will get something called the hollow tide mask you click with the hollow tide mask and you're able to put it on so basically how it works is that you have to go up to npcs and press e right now if you didn't already like do the hollow tide thing on them they'll be like afraid when you click e on them right um and if you don't they'll just give you regular dialogue like this but if you do get them they'll be like yo oh my goodness god's below right and then you'll be able to talk to them like normal and that will count as one joy you get one joy per person and there is a one hour cooldown right so generally the method you're going to want to do is just basically hit up every npc at like places like etris uh song seeker there's not really any at song seeker but yeah that's the rotation a lot of people just like kind of rotate etris like every hour and then go to other spots and other islands like uh maybe miners island has like a bunch of good you know npcs to be uh scare or whatever right to get joy so if you want to go ahead and use your joy you talk to lysander again and this is for items specifically right you can get these old helmets that pulled up last year or you get a pumpkin head or the scroom basically costume right which is basically the same thing as having the race and um yeah here are the prices here and then upstairs is where you get the weapons you want to come into the dispute hall and then go up this ladder over here up here and there you go you can talk to this npc right here glaive spell heart for the weapons last year's weapons were 60 the current ones are 100 and the pumpkin pitch mantra that's right you can get a mantra is 300 joy and it's basically what i'm about to show you right here uh where you throw pumpkins and they explode it's actually pretty damn okay i guess it's actually pretty trash but whatever but the real method is not by scaring npcs that was last year you don't really need to do that in, anymore in my opinion you can do the event now let's go over the event right the event will be to the left of where you spawn in right at the gate and you walk over here and you need to walk through this little portal right and this will be the hollow tide trial now if it's already going on it'll say that the trial is in progress if not you can walk right on in to the widow's wall cemetery right and basically how it works is that every wave you'll have a bunch of different pumpkin mud skippers that come and try and attack you right and so basically what will happen is every wave right every wave you'll be able to basically throw these little fireballs at them or pumpkin balls i don't know what they are and they will try and attack you so once you start the wave you'll say wave one right and basically all these pumpkin mud skippers will spawn in and you can just throw the balls at them by m one right you want to throw them right at the mud skippers so they explode and die you need to hit them a couple of times just be careful though if you do get hit by them they will turn you into a pumpkin skipper and you can infect other players for joy as well so you want to keep trying to run away from the other players who are also pumpkin skippers while also killing the npcs so you can end the wave right and i think usually how it works is that there'll be more that spawn in per player that's there but for yeah for the most part that's basically all comes down to right now keep in mind that every four waves you will get a chest that's right oh i just got turned into uh, a pumpkin skipper actually so now i'm actually able to attack others and get joy myself as you can see right as you can see wave three cleared i just got a chest one was skull piercer bam i don't even need to do the joy things i just basically got 70 joy for free because we cleared the wave man yeah so these chests are actually really really good for um essentially getting the weapons and items like the mushroom costume i actually i don't know what spawns exactly but items as well uh without having to farm the joy this is probably the thing you really want to farm and again you just got to go up to the middle and press e on it if there's no other players and if you die just infect the other players as well and you can also kill pumpkin skippers as a pumpkin yourself to help the people above because i'm pretty sure if um if everybody dies except one person you'll still be able to go on to the next round if you kill all the pumpkin skippers right so 
that's probably the good thing so yeah as you can see it says the curse subsides the shrine awakes your next attempt and i'm able to continue doing the event so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about uh the event um as a whole it's a pretty cool event but again that's kind of pretty much all there is for now next week i'll probably drop a video on the crits and all the other stuff that comes with the update and yeah that'll be about it guys i'll see you guys later peace